And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, uh, Senator James Langford um, is uh, pushing a bill called the Conscious Protection Act of 2016. It's already passed the House. You reported on it this week. Yes, uh, Senator Langford's bill would uh, protect the ability of health care providers to provide medical care without violating their deepest held beliefs in terms of abortion. Um, he said we uh, should not force anyone to provide abortion coverage even though we have very different views on the issue. The House, he said, had made an important step by passing the measure 245 to 182 um, and he is going to promote it in the Senate. Now, what's interesting about this is that the proposal cleared the lower house on a largely partisan view. There were three Democrats that supported it and only one Republican that went against it. So basically it was Republican versus Democrat. I went back and did some work. And what struck me about that is how things have changed so much in the last uh, 30, 40 years. Um, the partisan split on the bill is in dramatic contrast to what occurred right after the uh, Supreme Court developed, teased out from the penumbras of the Constitution, a uh, right of privacy, and I'm using some terms from some of the original cases. Uh, in the wake of that, the American Civil Liberties Union tried to force, through litigation, Catholic hospitals to provide abortions, and Catholic hospitals objected and Congress passed what was called the Church Amendments, Frank Church, um, and they passed 372 to 1 in the House and 92 to 1 in the Senate with Senator Ted Kennedy, uh, a promoter and supporter of abortion rights, uh, saying that that was the right thing to do. So there's that snapshot, here's this one, and they were essentially about the same issue, which is the right of conscience. When I was a young reporter, I interviewed a very bright Democratic candidate for Congress who shocked me when she said that she was not sure there should be protection for nurses and doctors who are pro-life. At the time that was stunning to me. It's now the position of the American Medical Association and uh, of many of the Democrats uh, in Congress and at that convention this week uh, that those rights not be protected. I don't, don't think that's good for the country. Speaking of the uh, Democratic National Convention, of course, it was held uh, this past week. And, uh, you know, Pat, last week was pretty rough on the GOP, and I sense uh, you're going to be equally tough on the Dems. Well, interestingly enough, this story I just described, when I posted it, within uh, about two hours I received um, uh, comments describing uh, Langford as an idiot, a twit, frightening and that his effort on this measure was a great waste of time. I think those people, their point of view was pretty well represented at the Democratic Convention this week. I want to cross-reference my prior remarks about uh, Donald Trump and the Republicans and say I'm just as concerned and worried for a different set of reasons about the Democrats. I do have to say that despite what Rachel Maddow said, I thought Bill Clinton gave an excellent speech um, what I'm trying to do is separate fact from fiction in that speech, but as a speech, as a political document, and as an emotional one, it was very strong. Uh, where this goes, the Sanders tensions, this uh, huge scandal with the way that the DNC acted towards the Sanders campaign, I don't know. Stay tuned. We are very polarized. Indeed, we are. You can read more about these and other topics at capitalbeatok.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.